Well, our next candidate for the office of the United States House of Representatives is the Honorable Judge Executive Reed Hare. Reed. Thank you, Representative. I will try to be brief. As you can see, I probably need to get back to work. I'm the Davis County Judge Executive in my third term. I'm very proud of the accomplishments that we've been able to achieve here in Davis County. I'm proud of the $9 million health clinic been able to build. I'm proud that we're building with Western Kentucky University, third and fourth year public universities to complement our community college. I'm proud of the fire stations and the increase in public safety that we've done, the additional deputies, many accomplishments, a real transformation for Davis County. But you know this election is not about the past. It's not about yesterday. This election is about the future. And you've heard individuals speak today about the changes that need to be made in the future. For I truly believe that this country is at the crossroads. The ideas and the decisions that have been made over the last eight years cry out for a new direction and new ideas. And that's why these elections are so very important. And I believe the question that you ask yourself is which candidate has the proven track record of getting things done, of making real and lasting change for our community. And I believe that choice is clear. That choice is Reed Hare. It's an exciting time we're living in. You see so many new voters at these presidential rallies, people that have the excitement, that believe that they can build a better world. I am so pleased to be a part of that. You know, I'm a Democrat. And over the years, people try and define what a Democrat is. And I thought about that a lot, thought about it before I filed for office. Let me tell you what it means to me to be a Democrat. It means you love God and you love your country. It means you don't buy what you can't afford. You don't start what you can't finish. You protect your family and your community from harm, both from within and without. And you are ever ready to lend a helping hand to someone in need. And it doesn't matter whether they are rich or poor or young or old or man or woman or black or white or brown. And you have that firm faith in the American spirit and the absolute hope that we can build a better world. And so, if you believe as I do, I ask you to join me on May the 20th. I ask for your support and your vote. And working together, we can build that better world for this generation and the next. Thank you so very much.